The first person to invent a remote control for vacuums will be adored and venerated by all of cat kind. I know it's early, Garfield, but Liz's parents are coming over soon and everything needs to be perfect! Oh, I can't greet them like this! What kind of a first impression would that make? Mm. Oh. An honest one? I know Liz's parents will be watching me like a hawk and analyzing my every move. John, I think a walrus threw up on your shirt. Ah! Odie, well-bred dogs don't beg. You can't... Odie, I just got through mopping that floor. <sighs> I'll deal with it later. Now, where is that expensive caviar I bought? Mm. Ah! Mm. All right, listen to me, you two. <laughs> My future with Liz is at stake. When her parents get here, I expect you both to be on your best behavior. And to make sure that happens, there's a little reward in store for you. Whichever one of you two makes the most effort to make a good impression will get a special treat. <laughs> Odie, go fetch the grooming brush. I'm going to give you two a little makeover before our guests arrive. Oh, no way. I'd rather cough up a giant hairball than share a brush with that mangy flea bag. I'll do my own grooming, thank you. Have it your way, Garfield. But Odie just scored a point in the effort category. Good boy, Odie. Good boy. What a suck up. I think I'll uh, fit in a little beauty sleep before the guests arrive. My suit! Get your filthy paws off me! Oh. Down, boy! I said get down! What in the world is going on out here? I'll tell you what, that maniac dog of yours pounced on us. You should have him on a leash if he can't behave. Odie, bad boy. I am so sorry about that. Please, please, come in. and We'll get all of you cleaned up inside. That goes for you too, Odie. Hi, John. Nice shirt. Minus one for Odie. That reward is mine. He doesn't usually jump on guests like that. He, uh, he must have been really excited to meet you. Speaking of which, you haven't been properly introduced. Mom, Dad, this is John. John, these are my parents. Hi, I'm Mrs. Wilson, but you can call me Daddy. And I'm Mr. Wilson. Ha <laughs> Um, <laughs> nice to meet you. <clears throat> I, uh, I believe you're already well acquainted with my dog, Odie. <laughs> and that's Garfield, my cat. My, that's a fat cat. Liz, dear, you really should put that cat on a diet. Oh, it's a pleasure meeting you, too. You've got a nice place here, John. But I must say, this house needs a woman's touch. I don't know about the house, but John certainly does. That being said, an extra hand in the kitchen wouldn't hurt. So, John, Liz tells us you're a cartoonist. <laughs> That's right. I, uh... Personally, I've always been for solid, respectable careers. None of that fancy schmancy stuff. I'm a tax auditor myself. That would have been my second guess. After Undertaker. Bad boy, Odie! <laughs> He's usually very well behaved. Minus two for Odie. Reward, come to Papa. Raising pets is like raising children. It requires a great deal of discipline. Do you plan on having children one day, John? Dad! Speaking of children, I haven't introduced you to my son yet, John. Your son? Uh, Liz didn't mention she had a brother. John, this is Petey, my pride and joy. <laughs> I raised and nurtured him ever since he was a baby. 
I can trust your pets with him, can't I? Uh, oh, sure. Uh, no problem. <laughs> because if any harm came to him, I, I, I just don't know what I'd do. But it breaks my heart to keep him cooped up in a cage. So she coops us up instead. She spends her time closing windows. And you spend it opening them. He's always saying it's stuffy. <laughs> Isn't he the smartest, cutest little thing? <laughs> he's the son I never had. I would have said plump and juicy, and he's going to be the hors d'oeuvres I'm going to have. Yes. Try it. See what happens. It'll be the most fun I've had in ages. Trust me. Hey, I went to a lot of trouble chasing you, so humor me. Fight, struggle, beg, plead. Oh, please, Mr. Cat, don't eat me. There is that exciting enough for you? Oh, uh, you're gonna have to do better than that. Garfield? <laughs> I'm warning you, Garfield. If I catch you with that bird again, you can forget the reward. And no TV for a no, month. Stop. I wouldn't gloat if I were you. I may be minus one, but you're minus two. Ah, forget that insipid sack of feathers. It's like trying to get an adrenaline rush from a slice of plain white bread. Animate pre-slice cold cuts are a hundred times more exciting. Please, please, <gasps> please, Mr. Cat, eat me. Come on. I know you want to. Just do it, please. Hey, you're supposed to beg me not to eat you, Dodo. But I must admit, you're slightly more tempting in sandwich form. What's taking so long? Hurry up! Well, if you insist. <laughs> <laughs> Petey? Oh, look! We're all out of hors d'oeuvres. Why don't I go into the kitchen and get us some more, huh? Oh, I see you've made yourself a nice... <laughs> Canary sandwich! I'll give you one last warning, Garfield. If anything happens to that bird, I'll put you on a diet of bread and water for life! Oh. <sighs> I need to get as far away as possible from that psycho bird. Petey. Petey, where are you? Come to Mama. It's not like him. He never leaves my side for long. Don't worry, Mom. He couldn't have gone far. Yeah. It's not like this house is a mansion. Uh, maybe he went upstairs. We can go have a look if you want. Oh. Ah, perfect. That should keep me out of trouble until the guests leave. Listen, it's a cruel, cold world out there, full of mean, hungry cats, not pushovers like me. I'll take my chances. You'll have to fend for yourself. And, and, and when you're sick, no one will make chicken soup for you. Birds don't eat chicken soup. Ah, oh, right, okay. Well, what about Betty? She'll be devastated. She raised and nurtured you. Smothered me, you mean? I've been wanting to break free from day one. And thanks to you, I finally did. I'm free as a bird. Farewell, Garfield. Oh, no, no, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, 
Maybe it's for the best, Mom. How many times have you brought him into the clinic because he banged into a closet window, huh? He'll be happier out there. I'll be honest with you, Arbuckle. I didn't like you the minute I saw you, after what your cat just did. I know, it's unforgivable. It's... it's... It's a miracle! A darn bird was the bane of my existence. Heck, I've been trying to get rid of him for ages. And thanks to that cat of yours, he's gone for good. From now on, John, you're part of the family. Wow, I... I don't know what to say. <laughs> Thank you, Mr... Uh... Bob? Mr. Wilson. Don't push your luck. <laughs> Garfield? Oh, I might as well get it over with. It's time to face my fate with dignity. Bag. Oh, merciful, merciful John. Take pity on me. Oh, please. Garfield, where have you been all afternoon? Your reward is getting cold. My reward? Ta-da! <laughs> you earned it, Garfield. Thanks to you, I'm on Mr. Wilson's good side now. As it turns out, Liz's father couldn't stand that canary, and you did him a huge favor by letting him escape. Oh, Mr. Wilson, a man after my own heart. 